I cannot look down because I am driving, but I did want to make a video, just kind of document a few more things that I've been thinking about. Um, I was on Pinterest, as one does, um, <laughs> saving un an unhealthy amount of quotes that make me feel better <laughs> and just things that I'm like keep driving keep getting to it you're gonna get it you just have to hold out the quote on my mind today is stop trying to be like everybody you don't even like everybody and I don't know why it's so it's so stupid <laughs> like it's such a stupid quote but it really just hit me like, I needed someone to tell me that before I stopped trying to be like everybody. Because I consider myself pretty contrarian. Um, I pride myself in being contrarian, let's all be honest. Um, I don't like to agree. If something's popular, I like to hate on it. I'm that type of person. Um, not on purpose most of the time. Just subconsciously, I want to not go with the crowd um but then I also find myself doing things that someone would consider trying to be like everybody else like today I had a job interview I don't normally dress like this this is not how I dress I don't want to work at like a boutique that has a shirt that says raised on Reagan like that's not who I am but I was trying to be like everybody else and fit in in this small little town. Um, but the question was raised, like, why am I doing that? Like, there's no really, there's no point to doing it. Because if I'm trying to be like everybody else, I'm eventually going to stop liking myself. Which has already happened. When I have to hide the things that I love, I hate it and I hate hiding myself and I still have to hide myself even when I'm being the most of myself that I can be safely um I just am such an advocate for being so 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 yourself in every way you could possibly be I think it is one of the most humanizing things you can do most grounding things you can do is to be fully unfiltered, fully yourself. Um, and I also want to bring up that I went to a Halsey concert. You saw it in my last video. You saw a few clips. Um, that was very emotionally. How do I describe it? It was it. It invoked a lot of emotions in me. Because they were saying exactly what I needed to hear. And it just felt like they were really listening to me. And she was amazing. I love her. But she said a whole thing where they were like, You should never feel guilty for being enthusiastic about things that you love. You should never hide it. You should never pretend it's not real. You should never dwindle your love for it just because someone is saying something or someone doesn't agree with it or doesn't like it. That should not affect how you feel about it. If I want to jump up and down at a Harry Styles concert because he's waving a pride flag, then I'm going to do it because I, I need it. And... I don't know, if I want to cry, I can cry because something makes me happy. Um, if I want to wait outside of a tour bus for hours just to not even see anyone, but just because I wanted to do that to see if it could happen, let me do it. Like, don't feel bad about doing it. If I want to take 
a million pictures with anything Harry Styles related or Taylor Swift related that I see out in public, I should not feel bad about that because ultimately that is why they're making the things. That is why Harry's house came out. That is why Reputation came out. That is why Folklore came out. That is why Insert Any Album That I Feel Great About came out. They did it to make people happy and just connect to people. So if I want to feel so verbally excited about it, I should not hate on myself for doing that. And I just really wanted to make a video where I just kind of, I don't know, fangirled a little bit. <laughs> like, show that it's okay to be completely encapsulated by the feeling that an artist gives you or that makes you feel like it's okay it's okay and I'm also saying it for myself like to convince myself that it's okay because I still have times where I'm like I'm getting too excited that I just saw that album in public like you talk too much to people about Harry Styles but I don't genuinely think that deep down. And I know if I were to be like everybody else, I wouldn't like it. And I wouldn't find near as much joy as I feel when I see like a little album somewhere in a store that I wouldn't expect to see it. There's no need. There's no need to feel bad. Like... Don't try to be like everyone else. You don't even like everyone else. That's such a good point because there's so many people that I'm like, they just like that because it's popular. They just make that TikTok because it's trending. I hate TikTok. I hate TikTok. I'm an open TikTok hater. It's destroying mentalities. And it's destroying mental health of the children. And I... <laughs> And I, I might be an old grandpa for saying that, but I think it is. Genuinely, I hate TikTok. And I think that is a place where, yes, to an extent, also I love the phrase to an extent, <laughs> but yes, to an extent, people are being themselves on there, but they're also doing it for a greater purpose of getting quote unquote famous and being like everyone else. And I just don't, I don't like that. I don't think it's a good idea. I, I don't like being like everyone else. And there was no need for me to be like everyone else. Um, so I've got to stop being like everyone else. <laughs> it's, it's something that didn't hit me until it hit me. And it hit me hard when it did hit me. So. I'm just gonna fangirl, okay? I'm just gonna fangirl. Just let me do it. Just let me be happy if Harry weighs a pride flag. Cause it's like openly supporting who I am and who my friends are and like celebrating it, not just being okay with it. He celebrates it. And it's just something that I need to hear. So it's okay if I get excited. I don't know. This is going nowhere, except I just want to document it. So, enjoy this video of me fangirling completely for no reason. <laughs>